Hello my good people, people who are interested in eating healthy foods, people who are health conscious. So today we are going to be talking about managu. Managu, managu what is managu? In English is known as nightshade, the black nightshade. And it is very nutritious plant. It is one of the superfood that we have in Kenya. It was anciently used for people in, by people in war for healing their wounds. Managu is very rich in vitamin C and this is a component that it helps us in healing of wounds and other things like eyesight. So people in the Asian time used to prefer it to boost their immune. Managu can be produced in all tropical regions because of the improved and modified varieties that are available. You'll find that there were ancient managu that were very bitter and at the same time it was very difficult for people to identify between the, the safe managu because they are managu that are poisonous. The safe managu for human consumption and the poisonous managu. There have been modification and improvement of the varieties to the broad variety that is more safe, that it has more food. It is modified to be a bit mild. For this, it encourages a lot of people to consume managu. Most of people re refuse to consume managu because of their bitter taste. Right now you can consume managu with a lot of mix of different variety of the leafy vegetable and even children can consume managu. It is very safe for people who have acid issues to consume. It helps in wound healing, as as a wounds in nature and managu helps in healing those wounds. So people with ulcers can actually consume managu. How is it produced? People will ask. Because nothing that is good comes cheap. The good thing is you can produce managu even at your own backyard, your balcony. And all you need is a little space, maybe a paper bag, a sack, a vertical garden, a bucket, a tray, and you will be able to consume your fresh organic managu. How do you do it? I'm going to take you through processes of how you can produce your managu, whether you're doing it for household consumption, small scale farmer, or large scale farm. Managu is a heavy consumer that is nutrient consumer and where managu gets its nutrients is through the soil so you need to rejuvenate your soil and make sure it is it has all the nutrients that managu requires and one of the major nutrients that managu requires is nitrogen so ensure that your compost your soil is in, in includes well decomposed manure the variety of the seed that you prefer, the process is still the same. If you prefer the broad leaf which is less, less bitter, or if you prefer the narrow leaf which is bitter, the choice is yours. So first you need to aggregate the seedling. Thereafter, after three weeks, transplant your seedlings. And from transplanting, you need to transplant your seedlings at a distance of 15 to 10 centimeters apart. But before you do that, as I told you, managu is a heavy feeder. So ensure that you enrich your soil with nutrients that will ensure that every seedling gets enough nutrients for it to grow and become of productive value. After three weeks, you'll have enough stems for you to first prune your first prune. So what happens is when you prune the first or the head, the other suckers are able to grow wide and broad. For best results, ensure that you irrigate your managu at least three times a week. The best time for irrigation is mostly in the evenings. Also, there are different types of irrigation that from experience my best method is overhead in overhead irrigation you can either choose to use sprinklers or rain guns 
Managu is a crop that is highly infested by pests. Most of the pests attack the leaf, the under part of the leaf. Most of the pests that pests that attack managu are aphids, thrips, red spider mites, and sometimes you will see ants. They tend to suck the sap of the leaf and the leaf folds itself and this deters its growth. To control that, you need to make a pesticide that will be organic and safe for your crop and kill all the pests. And some of the pests pesticide that we use are shown below. We have a video that we had done about pest management. You can check that out and try that. Another way of controlling pest is ensuring that your farm is clean, free of weeds, and also intercropping of your managu vegetation with other crops like uh, like sunflower. Sunflower is a companion, a good companion crop for managu farmer for both economic sense. You can sell the sunflower as well as sell the uh, managu. You can also, it can also be used to create shade for your vegetable, hence reservation of water. It is also used in controlling or regulating the nutrients of the soil for your crops. So intercropping of managu and something like sunflower is really and highly recommended. I hope you have learned a lot. In case you have any query, kindly comment below and let us know how we can help you.